This video will show the upgrade procedure on a CNC 150 control to a Herco S7 back gauge. This upgrade can be done in the field or in this case the main carriage and casting is returned to Automec. The first step is to remove the sheet metal covers on the Herco. Next, remove the ball screw cover. When doing the retrofit in the field, take digital photos of this area and send them to Automec so that we can configure the system properly. In this case, Automec will return a completed system to the customer. The next step is to remove the old Herco motor. The Herco servo amp can be left in place or removed. It is not used. Remove the Herco cable and connector. This particular Herco had a yellow proximity switch which cannot be used. Here we replaced the proximity switch with a roller switch. In your case you may already have a roller switch so all you have to do is check the polarity to make sure it's a normally open switch. Check the belt and replace if necessary. If you are doing a field retrofit, count the teeth on this driven sprocket as well as the number of teeth on the motor so that we can make sure you get the correct ratio. When you return the whole system to Automec for upgrade, you don't have to worry about that. Now for reassembly, you mount the Automec connector where the Herco connector was. You will receive this back from Automec. Now reinstall the motor exactly as it was before. Notice that there is a new encoder provided by Automec on the rear of the Herco motor. Adjust the tension on the belt and connect the Automec cable to the modified motor. These are all plug-in connections. The other components you will receive are a CNC 150 control and a gold amplifier box. This amplifier box should be mounted to the side frame of the press brake using four quarter twenty bolts. All of the electronics for the system is included in these two pieces, so the Herco control box can be removed as well as the Herco controller hanging from the pendant. You may want to make a bracket to attach the CNC 150 control to your Herco pendant. Once the gold box is mounted, connect the military connectors from the back gauge to the gold box and from the control to the gold box. Replace the ball screw cover and sheet metal covers covering the unit. We are now ready to try the system. The system will move back slowly to reference and then go quickly to position.
you'll notice that the system runs at approximately the same speed and accuracy as the Herco when it was new. This completes the video on the CNC 150 to Herco S7 upgrade.